Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. So, we've got some news about the future of Battlefield 2042. As you guys probably know, Season 7 was the last season of Battlefield 2042, and we're in the final week of this season, meaning that there will be no seasonal events anymore, and the seasonal cycle of the game is now completely shut down. And because of that, DICE has to do something for the game to stay alive and be relatively attractive for players to stay and play. However, DICE decided to do something that we already knew they're going to do, and that is actually going back to previous events and starting to give us the previous game modes like Control, Shutdown, Frontlines. There's a whole roadmap for this, but the whole map is not giving us anything new. We are actually going to experience what we've already experienced in the past seasons, and I would call this another Battlefield Redux. However, there's a small roadmap for this. There is a developer note on this. We're gonna go through that part of it. And there is something new about all this drama, and that is we are going to get some vault drops. Now, they didn't say anything about the remaining vault weapons, but apparently these vault drops are going to get us some older vehicles from previous Battlefield games. And as you can see, in the roadmap, there is a transport helicopter, which is apparently the first vehicle that we are going to get. And some people, even some of the content creators, are already craving for the A-10. Uh, and uh, I don't know, we are going to discuss everything. But before we get into the video and take a look at the developer notes, if you guys enjoyed the content, if you like the video, if you are following Battlefield franchise and want the news, this channel is for you, so consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel as well, because it only takes one click and you won't miss out on the future videos. Alright, so let's get moving. First of all, this is the roadmap. As you can see, a big title says the journey continues. We've got Vault Drop, fan favorite vehicles coming from Portal to All Out Warfare. Uh, we've got new Halloween event with exclusive rewards and new ways to play, meaning we are going to get some new game mode, and the support on Battlefield 2042 continues with regular game updates and maintenance, weekly programming and bringing new ways to play. We are going to catch up on seasonal events. Like, this is ridiculous, but uh, this is what DICE likes to call this. It's ridiculous because we've already played these. And you may be right, there are some people who haven't played this event already, and this might be some new experiences for them, but for the majority of the players, we do know for a fact that these events were not the best. I would say Control was the best game mode I've ever played on Battlefield 2042. And I don't really think Frontlines is like anywhere near as good as Control. Not even shut down. So that's about the roadmap. The roadmap doesn't really have anything new. Uh, however, let's take a look at the journey of Battlefield 2042, which apparently is going to continue. So the article starts like this. We recently gave you an update on what to expect for the future of Battlefield 2042 and our transition away from regular seasons. Now that we're nearing the end of Season 7, we're back with a brief overview on what's next. So, as you guys probably know, they are completely shifting their focus towards the other game, the new Battlefield title that's coming out in 2025. And that's something that you needed to know, and that's why the seasonal support is coming to an end. So, support for Battlefield 2042 will continue with a regular game, Balance and quality of life updates. So these updates keep coming. Uh, we haven't seen the last update of Battlefield 2042 yet. Portal highlights and Friday night Battlefield experiences. But today we're also here to tell you about new ways for you to play through vault drops and events. So we've got events new and returning. Through our seven seasons, we've seen you enjoy our events, such as the Archangel Directive and fan favorite mode Control. They are mentioning Control here because I believe that is the only event that people actually enjoyed. The rest were just normality, I would say. So we'll be bringing them back as we rotate through past events alongside returning rewards for those who missed them. This will start with the return of Leviathan Rising later in July, so we don't even have an exact date for that. We're also going to be bringing new events to Battlefield 2042 over four weeks with new ways to play, progression via an event pass, with free and premium tiers, new cosmetics and more. This first new event will be playable this coming Halloween period, so stay tuned for more details. So we've got an event pass, which reminds me of the conventional battle pass that we had in the seasonal support of the game. With premium and cosmetic uh, rewards, this actually means that people can actually buy this event pass 
it, it just is a battle pass, but with a different name. So that's basically what this is. About the Vault Drops, however, Vault Drops will be multi-week moments for you to unlock content in All Out Warfare. You've seen us bringing Battlefield Portal weapons across for use in All Out Warfare, but we've heard you also want us to start doing that with vehicles. I don't know who wanted that, but anyway, we're gonna talk about that pretty soon. Vault Drops will start later in the year with a vehicle from Portal that we know you'll be excited to get your hands on. These events will allow you to both try and unlock the new hardware. Depending on the piece of hardware, it will come with mastery, attachments, and universal skins, and with additional balance changes to ensure their gameplay matches the existing All Out Warfare roster. So about the Vault Drops, first of all, I have no idea who asked for this. I mean, bringing some weapons from previous Battlefield titles is something completely different with bringing vehicles from those games. Because there is just a lot of things with vehicles that you don't have those issues in bringing up weapons. For example, the maneuverability is something that you don't have when speaking about a weapon. For a vehicle, there's different weapons that that vehicle has. Each and every one of them needs to be balanced. So that vehicle is not going to be too overpowered or an underdog. So there is a lot to be done for this. And I believe there is literally no need for new vehicles for, let's say, vault vehicles in Battlefield 2042. If things were about new vehicles, that would be good because those vehicles uh, would be completely designed for 2042. But since they are bringing them from other games, other Battlefield titles, the support needs to be pinpoint. They, they really need to be considering a lot of factors and they shouldn't just leave them, leave those vehicles like as they are. Of course, they are going to support them, but how accurate and uh, trustworthy that support is going to be that's a big question mark right now. And there's a community calendar as well. Our community calendar will continue to receive updates showcasing all of the weekly playlists and featured experiences that you can expect to play throughout the months ahead. We'll be evolving it to include details on upcoming game updates, weekly missions, and new cosmetic bundles. And of course, we look forward to seeing you for more awesome Friday Night Battlefield seasons, where you can expect prime and chaotic Battlefield gameplay every week. We hope that this gives you a better understanding of what's next for Battlefield 2042. Thank you for playing, and we'll see you on the Battlefield. So basically, what's ahead of Battlefield 2042 is the previous events and some vault vehicles. That is what we are going to get. If you ask me, this is not really live service. Uh, they're just trying to deal with this live service thing for another year until the next Battlefield game comes out. Or at least until they can release some news about the Battlefield game, the new Battlefield game, so they can shift people's focus from the leftover of 2042. That is basically what DICE is right now trying to achieve. And again, in my opinion, we don't have any need for vault vehicles. There are some vault weapons remaining, like the SPAS-12, like the M98B, I do believe you can agree on this with me, that we really want those. We might even need some maps from previous titles, but I don't think vehicles are what we want. Like we can always have more weapons, that's something welcomed in any shooting game. But 2042 really lacks some more maps. Like we've got Caspian Border here, we've got Valparaiso, the Eureka Harbor, we've got those maps. And even with those maps that are not 2042 originals, Battlefield 2042 still lacks some more maps. We don't really have the diversity we used to have. So I believe there are some maps they can add to the game. Battlefield 4 had some awesome maps. Battlefield 3 had some. That really takes a lot more time. And I do believe these guys don't want or don't have enough resources to spend on 2042 while the next Battlefield game is being developed. But whatever it is, what Battlefield 2042 lacks is content. And even if they wanted to give us vault drops, they could give us maps. Maybe the remaining vault weapons instead of... Uh, some vehicles like we don't really need a tens flying over our heads in 2042 i do believe that is nostalgia and that's enjoyable but that's not something we need so that's basically what i think about this the future of 2042 is going to be repetitive guys that is something i need to tell you and i do believe that's something you already know however that's in my opinion a fact and repeating it wouldn't hurt so go down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, let me know what you think about bringing the vault drops to the game. Let me know if you like vehicle vault drops or you'd prefer the remaining vault weapons or even some maps from previous titles. That's something that I really want to know because I believe vehicles from previous games are just useless in 2042 right now.
It's something we might like, like having A-10s in every single video game is like a re relief, really, but it's not something we need. So yeah, comment down below and let's have a conversation down there. Until next time, guys, stay cool.